All right, so here's what I'm doing for a rain gutter. I had this four inch corrugated, is that what it's called, corrugated? Corrugated perforated tubing. Tubing, tubing. And so I cut a strip maybe this big. I don't know how big that is, maybe, it's a little bit over a quarter of the, is that circumference or diameter? You know what I'm saying? It's a little more than a quarter, it's between a half and three quarters. <laughs> I'm fucking this up. What are you doing? Anyway, you see, I, I took this strip out, and so then I moved it over to here. I don't have any of this tied in place, so it's not the most even shit. I have to build out some of the walls and stuff, but what I'm gonna do is put mesh all of, along the inside and outside of this, and it meets up with these, uh, these pieces of rebar. It meets up with these, I'm gonna mesh on the inside and the outside of it, and just cement over the entire thing. Hang on, I'll get on the inside and you'll be able to see. I don't know if I can climb up the scaffolding. Ah, oh, it'd be so funny if I fell. Fuck, here we go. See what I'm saying? So, it's gonna have mesh on these bars to make like a dome all the way around it. And then um, the mesh is gonna come down and into this. Somehow I have to match, I don't know. I gotta figure this shit out. So it's making a 12 by 12 square. Three of them here, one, two, three. And then down there it's making eight by 12 squares, three of them. Um, and these are gonna go on the inside and outside of that corrugated pipe. So I'm using like the natural curve because this came on a roll it wants to naturally curl like that So I'm gonna go around the outside of the pipe with it and curl it back under to catch this lip And then with the smaller piece I'm gonna stuff it in on the inside so that the edges are a little short and they'll actually catch the inner lip in here I'm gonna do this this piece first and then wrap this over top I'm just folding this on that fourth wire to get me an inch clearance. I'm just kind of putting it over this L channel. Folding it over like that. This inside piece, I'm gonna curl it and just kind of try and stuff it all the way in there. don't want it to go all the way and it wants to kind of hang out a little bit there we go and curl this one up and over <sighs> yo if you could smell my armpit where this camera <laughs> Jesus Christ and then fucking now you know how much you gotta crimp on this side I'm going the four might just do it. Fuck it. And that's kind of how you're gonna wrap this shit. <laughs> Hear that shit? like a fucking bluegrass band they moved in next door and it's weird every once in a while they'll just start practicing and they'll just play like instrumental music and I always just in my head an episode of Dukes of Hazard starts and I just start hearing that old man narrate <laughs> and I fucking hate it <laughs> There's a T handle. Um, it's just kind of bullshit connected there. 
but you could see this is a little wonky but I'm gonna fix it so it goes up drop that T down but the rest of this is kind of shaping up relatively even you know and all I've done is tie it to these bullshit pieces of rebar I actually had to cut them down cut them down a little bit more to fit I might even cut that one a little more um, I drilled two holes in the corrugated plastic ran wire ties up and tied it to it and we tied it up to over there because I'm having problems doing this by myself this thing wants to twist on me it wants to like roll over just because of you know it, you see what I'm saying see how it's like twisting upwards and then other spots it's twisting down so I figured it once I have this meshed in all the way around to over there it'll give it some, some support so I can fight with this last little bit yeah but that's it I'm gonna do this the whole way around Ow. walked into a tree I'm gonna do this the whole way around and hopefully that gives me a nice weird little round uh, rain gutter here's where I'm at with this starting to kind of even out here I have this big gap to try and like I'm gonna have to build that up with some cement or something I'm hoping that the water will all run that way you see I tied up some of these weird little poles and shit in there I don't know why I just call them weird they're just poles um, to kind of boost this thing up I'm gonna stand back you can see I got it as leveled level looking as I could you know right there it's a little little wonky at the end here I'm gonna have to tie it tie this up a little bit more it was hard to put this T in here it's hard to get all this shit to fit I had to cut it a little short to bend it in a uh, little wonky but I'm gonna I figure it out use like wire ties into itself and onto there's other mesh in the back here that I've been tying it to and just running up other poles too um, I'll get it you can see here's the inside I tried to just keep that same curvature it's kind of hard like here it wants to go down a little so I'll probably wire tie through the top of it and then down to one of these support poles here and just kind of bend the whole thing as it tightens it up, you know? As you can see, it kind of gets away from itself here. Maybe it just wants to go outward more a little. Adding extra mesh over these gaps on the inside and the outside will give it a more rigid, it won't want to bend so much in these areas, you know? But for the most part, I got it pretty good. And up here, I kept wanting to curl, to curl outward, you know what I mean? So I drilled through the plastic and I tied this, I reused this string that this mesh was wrapped up in. It's not string, it's like a, a wire. Um, and I just kind of went through and then tied it around the rebar and then twisted it until I got it where I wanted as far as the curvature. You can see there's a couple little fucked up spots. I'm gonna do maybe one or two more of these on the other side if it's messed up over there. But it's getting there. I put this piece of chicken wire over. It doesn't look, it's not very tight there because I can't, I have no way to get up here yet. I'm too pussy to climb up on this ledge right now. But I'm gonna throw another piece in this direction over top and kind of crisscross. And I think all this weird loose ends, I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I'm gonna try and just like mush them down and hopefully it'll just be like a wavy layer in the matrix of cement and other metal. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out. I'm just kinda, kinda figuring this out as I go. It's just gotta look okay and be able to hold cement. Cause then once the cement goes on it, it clears up a lot of this grossness, you know? And then um, like dumb shit like this, I can cut afterwards and then just put a coat layer of cement. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna add some more chicken wire. I'm just kind of trying to get a general shape. I've been like weaving these in and out. And it kind of just sort of forms a little bridge. I threw 
one layer over this way, one layer over that way. And now this is just a piece I'm tying on, but I'm just pulling it tight and then twist tie clamping things down. Um, same with this, like pulled it tight, twist tie, and then I'll put a, a grab it on the other end. I can't do this backwards looking through a phone, but I'll grab it like that and then just keep twisting until it tightens up and pops off. Eventually it'll just break and you can see. So this will be cemented in, come down into here. And then here's your gutter that runs all the way to the back, back there. I thought I'd be done by the end of today. I'm nowhere near done. This shit takes fucking forever. So I don't know, I'll probably at least another week or two until I can cement any of this. There, you can kind of see what I mean. I, I like thread them through the pieces and then when they're bunched up together, I'm kind of interweaving them just to kind of keep a little shape. I'm going any direction that it seems to want to go and I'm just kind of cutting the mesh and pulling it tight and then weaving these through. See that piece that's sticking up? I'll cut to relieve the the like pressure or whatever you want to call it. I don't know the, the reason why it wants to stick up. And then I'll pull the piece to whichever way it wants to go and I'll weave another one of these through it up around the rebar to kind of sort of take a shape. I'm going to put cardboard underneath it to kind of catch the cement. And then at least I can get a base layer down. And then after that I can climb up there and, and kind of smooth it out or whatever. This whole fucking thing is weird looking anyway. You know, kind of looks like a little uncircumcised dick. Anyway, that's how far I got today. This shit is taking way longer than I thought it would. It sucks. I thought I'd be fucking cementing today. Not at all. It's gonna be at least another week of trying to lay up this mesh and get it all in shape and then get this hole so it looks even from standing down on the bottom. It's just gonna be a long time of trying to even this fucking thing out. But this is my new method and hopefully this will work out. And then this will just all be cemented in. Um, yeah, I don't know if this shit's gonna work or not. Like I said, everything's experimental. It's getting closer. I thought this shit would take one day. I thought I'd get all that chicken wire and shit up in one day. It has been, I'm gonna say four or five days in. And with no end in sight, no end in sight. This shit may never, I may never get this thing ready. It's all fucking wonky. Cause the rebar is like misshapen and shit. I'm a, I stand up there, I climb up and I fucking stand on that shit. And it, tomorrow I'm gonna hit it with a sledgehammer. I'm gonna hit it here, and I'm gonna hit it here. And I gotta figure out how to set up a video for that. Because if I fall off this shit swinging a sledgehammer, that's hits. <laughs> I'm trying to monetize my, my traction. I'm trying to fucking get paid. So I tapped that rebar kind of into shape. I've been wrapping chicken wire because you need a couple layers. I still got to finish up a couple loose pieces and shit. I've been sticking these. Uh, these are actually welding wires, like really old rusted ass welding wires. This one looks shiny, but most of them are shit. Um, I'm just kind of weaving back and forth pattern through the, the mesh to keep it one thing. You can see how the rods that I used. I fucked up this, uh, this gutter. It's all crooked and wonky now. Since I've been walking up there and, and doing whatever else, I just tripped on a rock. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna patch this up, try and get it to be one fluid line. See how it's like fucking jagged and stuff. And I gotta uh, put a level up on it. I gotta raise this side up a tiny bit more. Cause right now it's just like a flat level. Um, and I don't want to have to taper the inside of it. I just want to Put an even coat on the whole thing and then this front piece. I'm gonna unhook It's like pulled in it needs to come out a little bit further 
I'm gonna unhook it and kind of round that shit off too. But it's fucking definitely getting there. I would say that the mesh dome thing is almost done. I'm gonna stuff cardboard up underneath it. Um, and then that'll like kind of hold the cement in place so I can put a thicker layer on. <sighs> or I'll just admit defeat and walk away with this funny looking dick shaped house. It's almost like he's wearing a beanie, like a t like a too small for it beanie. Like that dude from Oz. I forget his name, but he's he would wear that fucking too small beanie off the side of his head. <laughs> Out of BC. No. Uh, it's like you're just putting the condom on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a house when you just put the condom over the top and you start to roll it down that's what this house looks like I think this is about as lined up as I can get this still a little fucked up in some spots I'm hoping I can fix it when I go to plaster the thing but I'm just gonna mix up a shitty coat of plaster right now spray all this down to get it wet so this old motor is is like moist and it doesn't suck the moisture out of the new shit and then I'm gonna take handfuls and just kind of scoop it into the crack and some spots where there's more gaps like here I'm gonna put a mesh just try and jam some mesh in there and just see if I can you know kind of connect it a little bit it's leveled and I want to like kind of cement it in place so it doesn't move around anymore I use some cans just to like space it out you see all out here I gotta build this out so I'm gonna put layers of mesh and like that that mesh actually the the hardware fabric what do you call that? Hardware cloth. I don't know why the fuck they call it that. It's not cloth at all. Hardware fabric or something they call it. But it's not fabric either. And just kind of build out that divot so it meets up to there. And anywhere there's a can, I'm not going to really mortar. I'm going to go around the cans and then hit them out with a hammer later or whatever. You know, because later this will have some sort of shape with cement. But I'm just going to fill in this gap. And hopefully... It won't look too fucked up. But you can see I, I took one of these metal uh, things and just bent it so it like made a little shelf to hold this out. Because if not, this was sagging real low. But that shit is spring loaded and I fucked, <laughs> I fucked myself up. I fucked myself up so much doing this. It looks like I'm fighting cats. Like I'm just <laughs> cat boxing. It's crazy. My arms are so ripped up from all this fucking metal. <laughs> Soupy. So it's like doughy almost. It seems good to me. Let's go try it. Sort of. Not bad. It's all right. It's just like tied it all in, you know? Kind of smoothed it out a little. Um, left some shit in, like this stick was kind of holding that up. So it's in there now. I'm just gonna cut the stick and try and pull it through once this dries. Same with like all this shit that's, that's just in there. Um, this rock, I tried not to cement the rock, you know? but I got everything around it. Uh, stuffed a lot of chicken wire anywhere where there was gaps. Um, two and three layers like on top of itself just to fill in the holes and have something for the cement to grip on. Uh, it was, it's good that I made the cement uh, like thick like it was, like that pasty shit. And then I took a cup of water with me and I was just like dipping my hand in the water and then mushing up the cement if I needed it wetter. And it worked out better that way than if it was just really wet, it would have just fell a lot. Um, I tried filling that in just with what's left. It's hard to try and get one big pass to fill in a big gap like that. Um, but once the shit dries, 
it'll kind of keep it in place and then I'll do another thing tomorrow maybe I don't know I might just do like a little bucket one and then knock all these dumb things out like the cans and shit I'm gonna just hammer those out or mush them in either way doesn't really matter and then I got to get up on the inside you see like that shit the way I did it so I can cut it out later and just cover the, the holes that it went in um, I got to get up on the inside of this then and make the inside um, I don't know how to explain it like where where it runs off the bell or the dome whatever into this channel this gutter this round fucking black tubing 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 it's like uneven you know so i have to like level out the chicken wire and shit in there and like attach it to something we'll fucking see man everything's an experiment always i don't know i don't hate it though it's kind of even i mean it's very dick like it's, it's very much like a dick <laughs> it's pretty funny. There it is. Gotta knock some of these fuckers out. That shit just came right out. Nice. I ripped that stick out. I'll just cover that hole up. I don't know what the fuck this is. That's gotta go. I'll cut those. Knock those cans out. I gotta remove that thing too. But it's um, it's as good as it's getting. It's it's cemented in there, so that's it. This is how it looks. Fuck it. I'm gonna make a batch of cement and uh, fill this fucker in. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's where I'm at at this point. I'm gonna. Uh, it's still a little wet. It's getting dark. I'm gonna come out in like an hour. Hopefully it'll have dried up a little. And I'm gonna spray the surface. See how it's all like rough like that? I'm gonna spray it with the sprayer and rub it in. It kind of makes it a little smoother. Shines it up a little. It's gonna need one more coat of like the final plaster. But I gotta get the rest of this entire building up to that point. This wall needs to be built out a little. Look how far out that stick. That looks funny. Whatever, that's pretty cool. Not terrible. I don't know, I got pretty fucking far today for, for one day's worth. Not terrible. I'm single, ladies. Get into this. Into that shit. <laughs> Alright, it's been a couple days since I've recorded anything. I worked on this thing for a couple of fucking days. Um, and I haven't recorded just because I have... I've just been doing the same shit. Just smear the fucking... Smear it on, you know what I mean? Smear the cement on. Got to build out that spot a little bit. Got to build out around the bottoms. Got to build out right here. That shit's just gonna have to stay like that because these bottles are in too too far. And then I fucking I put the roof on, kinda. I got to do another coat or two of this. See how it's like. Uh, I don't know, it's not smooth. I wanna make it like a smooth, or or smoother than this, anyway. So I'm gonna come out tomorrow, finish up the roof. It's got a coat of, uh, uh, what is it? It's Portland cement, one part Portland cement, two parts sand, and some acrylic. How much acrylic? I don't know. Pour some of the jug in, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna finish this bitch out and then spend a couple days rounding out the outside and then I'm done with this motherfucker. Maybe build a door, maybe not. Maybe I won't fucking bother because I don't care enough anymore. Sick of it.
sick of doing it. I gotta build out that little bit right there. I gotta build out that. It's almost done, man. It's almost fucking done. Does it look good? No, not really. Gave it a shot though. Looks weird. I'll give it that. This whole thing, you see how you can still see the mesh? It needs one solid, like, smooth coat. But I want to do the roof first because you can see there's, like, a difference in color with the shit that I use for the roof and the shit that I use for the side. The roof is a slight bit darker because it's Portland cement, whereas the sides are, like, a masonry cement. So it has, like, a lime in it. For the top, I'm just using Portland cement, sand, and acrylic to waterproof it a little bit. That's it, man. That's it. Well, that fucking sucks. Watch me build. <laughs>